Morning Quite Copter 101 here, and today's shout out goes to Ucronia Utopia. Ucronia was first to say first on one of my recent videos, and thus was this shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quite Copter 101 here with a review of a neat new drone, the KF or the KF Plane KF609 Mini Tang, Tang Mini. Uh, what is the Tang Mini? Uh, well, if you look at it, it's another, you know, Mavic Mini clone. This is a tiny little Mavic Mini clone. It's foldable, as expected. But uh, the real thing about this drone is this is a beginner's learn-to-fly drone. This is a nice little beginner's learn-to-fly drone. Now, this is available in four different versions, and those include uh, 4K with op uh, optical flow, uh, 720p version without, without optical flow, a 1080p version with optical flow and a 4K version with optical flow. Now I was supposed to get, I thought I was going to get the optical flow version, but unfortunately the one I got does not have optical flow. However, it does have a 4K camera. Well, not really. Okay, uh, when they say 4K, the video that you actually get is 4K resolution, well, the, the resolution they get is uh, 4096 by 2160 pixels uh, recorded to your phone since there is no SD card on this. However, and it's a 15 frames per second, but, you know, looking at the video quality um, of this supposed 4K video, it's pretty obvious that it's really just 720p that's been interpolated to 4K. So, you know, if you're trying to d debate between the versions to get, particularly the versions without optical flow, I recommend going for the, the cheapest 720p version if the optical flow feature is not important. And again, mine does not have optical flow, and this is how you can tell. This little window down, or this little circular tab on the bottom here, that's where your optical flow camera would be um, if Indeed, it does have optical flow. So check a, check yours when you get yours to make sure <laughs> to see if there is a camera there. If it's not, you did not get the optical flow version. Now, what is the difference between optical flow and non-optical flow? That little camera, if this does have a little camera on the bottom, looks down at the ground directly beneath the drone and helps maintain the drone's position automatically in hover without you needing to manually control hover through the joysticks. Now, since I don't have optical flow, I'm going to have to manually fly this, but you know, not everybody uh, has the ability to do such, but you know, as a beginner's learn to fly drone, I actually would recommend considering going with this version without optical flow to help improve your flying skills. Uh, this definitely would do it. Okay, um, I mentioned the camera, uh, the resolution of the camera is 4096 by 2160, 16 frames per second. Again, it's interpolated from a much lower. Uh, video resolution. You'll see that in the video footage when we go flying. And you can tell yourself, is that really 4K video? <laughs> I'll tell you the file size it is, but uh, in actual quality, it's you can tell it's not. It's been interpolated. With, and that means electronically enlarged through the app, actually. The app does that. Um, other things with this. I mentioned it's folding. Um, it's Another big thing about this particular drone, or this is actually a good thing about this particular drone, is it has a nice size battery, 3.7 volt, 1100 milliamp per hour battery. That will give us up to, up to 15 minutes of flight time with this particular drone. We'll find out when we go flying. I'll mark down what the flight time is. But uh, additional features with this is it only weighs 113 grams. And what that means is in most countries... In fact, nearly all countries, this does not require registration. It's considered a toy drone and uh, weighs under 250 grams. In the U.S., I know that this does not require registration, so that's a selling point for it. Another big selling point about this drone is the cost. All of these different versions are in a $30 price range, $30 to $39 price range, actually $29 up to $39 price range. Uh, which makes it very affordable for most people. You know, a nice, cheap, learn-to-fly drone uh, with our prices right. Now let's talk more about the camera. Um, there's the camera there. It can be manually swiveled up or down, but with your hand. Okay, when I say manually, that means you got to adjust it before you take off. I would recommend giving it a little bit downward pitch so that you can avoid seeing the propellers in the video. But, you know, you set it like that and go fly it. Um, let's talk about the controller that comes with it. This is its controller. It takes three AA batteries that you insert in the back here, like so. Um, 
three AA batteries. And let's go over the switches. Now, these switches are all labeled, okay? This one here is for automatic takeoff and automatic landing. And if you hold it down for two to three seconds, it will uh, actually uh, stop the motors, cause emergency stop. And you use that feature if you end up in a tree or in a bush to protect these uh, little brushed motors. You want to uh, turn off that motors immediately. Hold down this button here for about two to three seconds, and that will shut down the buttons. The button on the right, if you move it, to, click it to the right, this activates um, headless mode feature. Or if you hold it down for three seconds, it will cause the drone to uh, do a one key return, what they call one key return. Now that is not a return to home and landing. What that actually does is, what the, whatever direction the drone was pointed at takeoff. It's going to fly the opposite direction. It's going to come back the opposite direction. So if you keep the pick or the drone down in that general direction that you took off and you press that button, it may fly back in your general direction. However, if you're off to the left or the right, it actually might fly away from you. So don't depend on this particular feature. Um, another thing that I don't kind of like about this idea is having this button right next to the emergency stop button. So I can see a lot of people saying, okay, I'm going to try that one key return and they actually accidentally hold down this button your drone's going to drop from the sky and break unfortunately so be careful i don't recommend using one key return let's say that okay the button's on the right this button here is your rights button you press that and you can switch be between beginner intermediate and expert um, if you hold down this button on the right this is your flip button quick press of that and you can tell the direct and you uh, press your joystick either forward or backward left or right and the drone will do an actual flip uh, that's a new feature that's a, actually a really old feature on drones that i haven't seen for a few years and the reason being that it was removed from most drones is it tends to cause motor burnout okay uh, particularly in these uh, brush motor drones um, it actually stresses the the motors quite a bit so you know i recommend using that feature quite sparingly if you do do that but it is a neat feature to show and impress your friends with Say, look at my flying ability, and you press the button and have it do an automatic flip. <laughs> so, okay, um, one of the things you get in the package between, besides the drone, the controller, you get a charger for that battery. Notice the con uh, little plug on this charger, and the plug on the battery is uh, not your standard white low C. It's actually a little PH 2.0 connector plug for the battery. Uh, however, you, you know, since it's uh, indented like this, you have to use this adapter, this particular controller, to use it unless you have an adapter cable that can plug into it if you want to plug it into your better charger, if you do have such a charger that can charge pH 2.0. Okay, other things that we get in the package is a spare set of propellers. Or two two pr spare propellers, let's put it that way. One for the clockwise and one for the counterclockwise spinning motors. You get a little screwdriver to help remove those propellers. Through that little, uh, that's where the propeller are inserted, the propeller screws. I don't know if that's showing up or not, but that's how you remove those propellers if you need to. You get instruction manual. It's actually a nice little instruction manual, readable. However, very tiny print. It's printed both Chinese and on the back and English on the front, or vice versa, if you want to say that. <laughs> but again, the print is uh, quite small, um, so if you have older eyes like me, you are going to need a magnifying glass to read it, which I did need to use. <laughs> To be able to read it, um, you also get a user manual for the app. The F and this uses the FYD UAV app, and I haven't mentioned yet, but this particular drone does not require 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Instead, it uses standard 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, uh, which means that most phones will work with this drone. You don't need a newer phone to use this drone like you do with many of the other drones today. So that's a good thing too. So that's the. Um, the uh, KF609 thing. Let's take it out into the field and see how it flies. Hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and we are out of one of, one of my favorite flying fields uh, for the flight of the KF609 Tang Mini. Okay, to start this up, all you need to do is there's an on-off switch on the top, and you press down and hold it until the lights come on, and then put it on a flat level surface to allow its gyros to calibrate. Okay, and then to bind the uh, controller, you need to turn the controller on and move this left stick, throttle stick, up and down. And we are bound to the drone in that we can see 
that the red lights are now solid in the back. Okay, next thing I need to do is connect my Wi-Fi to, or my phone's Wi-Fi to the drone's Wi-Fi signal. Okay, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to open up the app. Okay, this is the FYD UAV app available in Google Play and iTunes. Now all I need to do is hit play, and we double check to see if Wi-Fi shows up. If our Wi-Fi signal, we do have Wi-Fi signal, I can see that now. And if, before you go flying, also make sure that the signal is not frozen. Okay, if it freezes up, you need to restart the app. To <laughs> So I got, okay, and I'm adjusting the uh, level of the camera. Okay, that seems to be good. And we're doing good there. Next thing to do is hit record on the app to record video in the upper left corner there. Hit that little video icon. Make sure it starts. Let's try it again. Okay, it's recording. And again, before takeoff, double check that you still have video, okay, that it is not frozen. I found that out earlier, that, you know, trying it out last night, that if you take off with it frozen, it won't reset. <laughs> it may take a while to reset. Okay, so the video is recording, and I can tell you right now it does not look like 4K video, but <laughs> um, keep in mind this is a toy, folks, okay. Don't expect to get true 4K video in a $30 drone. That's just not being uh, smart. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to try the automatic takeoff button first. See if that works. Pressing the button. And there it is. Okay, now again, mine does not have optical flow, so I'm going to need to fly this manually to maintain position. Well, let's bring it around, going up a bit higher. And I still have video, which is good. So let's take it up higher and try at the camera. Slowly going up. There's a little wind coming from that direction there. So I'm going to go upwind and then balance it there and then rotate to show the camera. Let's rotate it. This is its camera. Went through the sun, of course, and bringing it back to me. <laughs> and the video image is frozen. So if you go outside of range, you know, expect video image to be very choppy. And it is. <laughs> Let's go back upwind. Let's go way upwind this time. And I'm going to go to a higher rate because of uh, this wind. There's second rate. Let's go up to there. Plop it there. And let it come down lower. Go by me. So, you know, the camera... Again, it appears to be 720p that's been interpolated to a higher resolution than what it really is. So, again, that's to be expected in a $30 drone. It's not going to be true 4K. It's interpolated 4K, which means electronically enlarged. It's flying actually very nicely. Okay, let me rotate it. Rotate it. Rotate it that way. And coming down. Um, as in regards to being able to fly this FPV, no, nah, you're not going to be able to uh, rely on the screen alone to maintain your position because of the lag and the uh, frame dropping that you're seeing. But let's bring it around again. Yeah, bring it up closer this time. I want to go right about there. Ooh, sun's in my eyes. <laughs> Trying to hold it steady. And come up to the camera, turn it that way, and say, how you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay. <laughs> With that being done, let's see how this flies. Now, I wanted to try the flip button. Let's go over here, pressing the flip button, letting the, and telling it to flip. There's a flip. <laughs> okay, I get I haven't seen these in toy drones in a, quite a few years, about three years flip buttons normally left flip flip buttons normally have been taken out because they tend to um, damage motors of these brush little brush motor drones so usually it's best to limit those flips <laughs> so you know what I want to do now is I want to I'm gonna fly high speed and do some uh, we're gonna try out the maneuverability of this drone so I want to land it first and I want to raise the camera up. Now we are going to probably see some uh, propeller in the video, okay? 
That's because I got the camera angled up high. Uh, but I'm doing that because I want to fly high speed and it's going to be tilted and I don't want to be seeing the ground in most of this video. So I got it slightly tilted up. So now second way, let me stop that video and restart it. Video stopped. Video is restarted. There we go. A second way to take this off is just, just do a quick push up on the throttle and then let go of the throttle stick and the motors will start like so and then you can manually take off by just pushing up okay now that we got the camera pointed up I can still see the ground or see uh, I'm hoping to see a better image quality but let's go over there and then go higher high sp Ooh, this thing moves okay if it moves like that let's see if I can do some trick maneuvers like that <laughs> it's actually a nice little flyer you know a lot of people poo poo these toy drones but they are really good for learning to fly okay yeah uh, the price is right you don't feel bad if you end up in a tree <laughs> or if you have a, you fly too high and the wind takes it just just a good price range is thirty dollar price range for drones trying those flips now that's the second uh, this is the second rate it's very maneuverable the second is there a third rate let's find out yeah there is wow thing really moves in third rate zoom zoom <laughs> yeah these these toy ones could be fun uh, didn't take the uh, I tried to do a flip how's my FPV <laughs> doing it's probably freezing will it regain I regained it which is good let's try to get that thing to do a flip in the forward motion I did it <laughs> Going this way now. Through the sun. Okay, I'm going to the second rate. The second rate seems to be the most uh, flyable of this. Now this has other features too, like gesture control um, and um, a really simple version of waypoints where you just draw on the screen. But that one, you know, to do that with this version without the optical flow would be, be somewhat difficult because, again, I got a win today. Now, an optical flow version, you could probably do that, the gesture control. You just let go of the sticks and you can do this. But you see, with my version, without the optical flow, the wind is coming from this direction and it's blowing it like that. Let's show you that again. So it's kind of difficult to, to hold it in one position and do optical flow. Now, let me just turn this toward me as it goes by me. That's the wind blowing it, folks. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, again, how do you like my shirt today, folks? Come down a little lower so you can see it. Oh, there it goes, and the wind's blowing it away. <laughs> Not a bad little drone for 30 bucks. Again, I recommend, um, if you're trying to learn to fly, skip the optical flow version. Get this one without the optical flow, the cheapest version, 720p if you can get the 720p version because I know this doing this um, interpolation with an app is probably causing a lot of lag <laughs> in this FPV video so the 720p video is probably much smoother than what I'm seeing with this nice little flyer nice little flyer for 30 bucks yeah there used to be so many when I started in this five or seven years ago, or about five years ago was the peak when they had all kinds of great little $30 flyers, and you don't see that much anymore. I'm glad to see this, to tell you the truth, because I really enjoyed them. I'm enjoying flying this one. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Where's that flip button again? <laughs> see? It's enjoyable for 30 bucks.
Oh, I pressed the button twice. Let's try it again. Come this way. Coming down, coming down. Zipping it. Not a bad little drone. We'll see what type of flight time we get out of this because I'm flying it really aggressive. As they say, flying it like I stole it. <laughs> Great little drone. Okay, in the sun. And is it still recording? It's probably frozen by now. Yeah, the video's frozen from all the aggressive moves, the Wi Fi. Let's see if I can regain the video. Let's just slow it down and bring it close. See if we can get that video back. Probably not. <laughs> so I'm going to stop that video recording right there, unless we get it back again. And we're just going to finish out the battery flying. Again, great little drone to learn to fly. It does have altitude hold. Even the cheapest version has altitude hold. So you're not going to get the full throttle management, you know, learning how to do throttle management. But you will learn to use uh, pitch and roll. <laughs> and yeah. And you, I do need to do throttle adjustments, even with the uh, altitude hold, because these flight or sp speed changes um, cause pressure changes on the barometer altitude hold. So it's not entirely non-throttle management. So let's bring it up close. I'm trying to go into the wind here. Coming down lower. And hold up my camera here. Try to hold it steady in the wind. Not, not a little bad drone. It's actually very good for the price. Kind of like it. And it is a long flyer. I wonder if they have a two or three battery version. I did not check that. Where you get replacement batteries for this because it is a proprietary battery. Although it uses a um, pH 2.0 connector like I discussed. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to do some modifications to put pH 2.0 batteries in there. Flip. Oh, no more flips. That means our battery's getting low. That means our lights are probably flashing too. Let's bring it in to see. Yeah, they are. The, the white lights are flashing. That means the battery's getting low. It's giving us a warning that the battery's low with a flashing light. Most drones that had the flip feature would, whoa, <laughs> would not allow you to uh, do any more flips when the battery gets low, and this, so does this one. But we'll fly it until it don't want to fly no more, which is right about now, it appears. Starting to slow down. Not a bad little drone. Let's go back to one. Okay, this is the lowest rate. Enough of high speed flying. I'm just going to try to keep it steady, get some thumbnails. What's another drone that was similar to this? The Ishin E58, I guess. That's another beginner drone, except that one became somewhat pricey. And there's no reason for it, in my opinion. It's nice to keep them at the $30 range for the beginner flyers. Okay. What you gonna do? You're gonna fall from the sky? Oh no, you're landing. That's it. Okay, what was the emergency stop? Hold this button down, let's try that. There you go. <laughs> so that's the flight of the KF-609. Um, not a bad little drone. I kind of like it. It's uh, very maneuverable. Nice little flyer. Uh, this again is the non-optical flow version since it does not have that belly camera. And it's also, I guess, the cheapest, the 4K non-optical flow and the 720p optical flow. If you can get the 720p, if you you know just want to have for fun flying, I recommend going with the cheapest version of this. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. 
Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. Thank <laughs> you.